What's going on YouTube? So uh, finally I was able to um, do a video here to give you guys an update on how the uh, main display tank is doing. Um, as you guys know the last time we've seen the, uh, the tank was when I was battling some cyanobacteria. I uh, was finally able to get it under control. We had heavy mats of it mainly on the rocks up here, especially this one. So I didn't want to put any chemicals in the tank. I went ahead and tackled it down the natural way. I started going back down to weekly water changes, uh, doing 20% uh, water changes weekly, which is uh, roughly about 30 gallons a week. Uh, while I did my water changes, I also, with a toothbrush, scraped off the rocks and um, siphoned out as much as I could weekly. I was doing my uh, water changes uh, every Friday. Now, another thing I did was also, I turned off the, uh, the red lights on my uh, lighting schedule. As we know, the uh, red spectrum helps the uh, cyanobacteria thrive. So I took that out of my lighting schedule. I'm gonna start slowly ramping the uh, red spectrum lights back on and see how the, uh, the tank does. But so far, uh, Sometimes I see little patches here and there, but we've been able to get it under control. Big difference how when it had uh, taken over the tank previously, as you guys remember. Now, there's been a lot of changes. Uh, as you guys remember the uh, Moorish Idol, we had to take him out of the tank too because he uh, was nipping at coral. So we got two new members. We have the, uh, the Achilles tank, as you see swimming there and the uh, powder blue tang which you see down there powder blue tang is a is a baby he's the smallest of all the tangs it kind of worked good out that way because uh, as we know the uh, powder blues are known to be very aggressive tanks so turned out to be good so far you see them you know scuffle a little bit sometimes but overall uh, they've uh, sorted out their territories Powder blue usually remains around here. That's the cave where he sleeps at night. The Achilles tang sleeps behind the rockware back there. My yellow tang sleeps behind this cave here. And my uh, powder blue, I'm sorry, the uh, blue hippo uh, likes to go sideways up here. So um, all of them have sorted out their, their territory already, so they're doing good for the main part. They have all been here together now for approximately a month and a half. Uh, one of the tanks that was really aggressive towards the powder blue was the, uh, the yellow tank. Because he's, uh, he's the first fish that I have, in the, have had in the, uh, the tank since I've started out my build. But so far as you can see, they've, they behave. So I'm pretty happy with that. So, um, as you guys know, uh, you guys know the, uh, the tank was stressed out with cyano and the Moorish nipping and stuff. Um, I lost a couple of pieces. So let's jump into the core and show you guys what uh, I got going on the tank now. So you guys remember here I had a, a Mystic Mountain Pora that was gone. I started out a, uh, a Recordia Garden. We have the uh, up there the um, confetti recordia. We have some tangerines over here on the right side. This guy right here is the newest addition. I added him like two days ago and um, he's just getting acclimated. He did lose some of his color. That's my Yuma. He had a nice pink center and um, he lost the color there. So let's see if he comes back. That was a really nice piece. Uh, you must look really similar to Recordia, so that's why I added him to this rock. Um, of course, they can touch, they cannot touch. So um, if he gets um, bigger than that, um, I'll move him away. But for now, he's good there. Clownfish still hosting their anemone. Now the anemone did move. Uh, it's moved about four times, but within the rock. So I'm happy with that. It can move as much as it wants, um, as long as it stays here in his in his own rock. That's gonna be a rock specifically just for the anemone. 
But um, as you guys remember, initially I had placed him up here. Then he moved down here. Then he moved back here. And now he stayed there so far. So they've been doing good. Loving their anemone. I also have stopped feeding the anemone since the uh, clown started hosting the anemone. Every time I feed meaty foods, I see uh, the big clown, the female, bring down food to it. So that's why I, I don't feed it anymore. They do it for me. My open brain. He's not fully opened up right now, but he's still doing good overall. Purple Raymani cap has grown a lot. You guys can see the uh, the rim here starting to uh, grow upwards. Golden door feel, behaving as usual, just minding his own business in his cave. See how big this uh, money cap has grown. That's doing good. Now for the acros, did pick up this guy right here. I've had him in here already for about two, two or three months. See the white tips, new growth. Uh, this guy looks really nice under the blues. He has uh, pink polyps with like a purple body to it. Right now the uh, lights, I'm shooting the video on more of a daylight look guys because I don't want to wash it out with the blue I think right now if I'm not mistaken my whites are ramping up they ramp up to um, about 70% throughout the day and then at around 5 uh, 5 p.m. they start ramping the whites start ramping down and turn off by 6 p.m. so um, but it looks really nice under the blues this guy then we have, uh, I'm going to make this little rock back here, my uh, Milli Rock. We have a combination of uh, the green, blue, and pink. Here we got this uh, blue acro. He has... Under the blues, you can see uh, a lot of pink, pink tips on him. They're doing good. You see all the polyp extension on it. Let me try to do a video from a top-down view. Colors look much better. But this guy, I love this guy. This guy has uh, the blue body and pink tips. We have this uh, red digi, also doing good. Look at all the pilot extension there. Down here, our green highlighter acro. The guy back there behind the green highlight acro, um, highlighter acro, he changed color on me after uh, when the tank was stressed out. He had more of a white body with purple tips to it. Now he's uh, turning to kind of like an aqua color. So we'll see how that does. But overall, I see his polyps out. So looks like he's doing good. He just he changed color on me. Burnest, um, I had to move them. As you can see, he has good polyp extension, but I think some of his flesh got blown out by the power head. I think it was too much of a uh, a current where he was at. You guys remember I had him next year to this um, to this bird's nest over here. So I moved him over here. See how he does.
You guys remember in here I had the uh, the red digi. That guy passed out. Still have the skeleton there. I haven't removed it. But I added this guy. He's really, really nice. He has like a green body to him. With red polyps. Um, got him at the store as a red wine. I don't know if that's the actual name. But um, when I got him, it was just the squares. You can see he's grown already. All the green is new growth that I've got on this guy. With a uh, as good polyp extension too. So that's him. Down here we have the uh, the purple bonsai has grown a lot as well as you can see it has grown over the uh, the plug as well a lot see all the green little polyps on it oh, he's doing good this right here is another guy that changed color on me as you guys remember he uh, was known as the pink lemonade now he's all purple <laughs> He um, also, I guess it was to the stress through all the asayano and the Moorish picking at it, but um, he used to have like a nice uh, light lime color to it with pink polyps. And now he's just all purple. So I've left him there to see how he does. All right guys, so that's all the uh, acros here on this side. Um, also, the acetosa down here, it's been doing really good. So you can see it's grown over the uh, frag plug already. And you can see all its polyps out as well. Now I'm going to take you guys here to uh, chalice land. That's where I have all my chalices. Back there we have the uh, bubblegum monster. This guy has approximately about 10 eyes now. So I have him back there so he can grow out on that rock back there. He's doing really good. This guy back here with the uh, all the green green eyes. It's a um, toxic chalice. Right there to the right hand side we have an alcoholic chalice. It's uh, pink with uh, green neon eyes. Really nice as well. Watermelon, watermelon chalice also growing really nice over the whole plug here. Hell freezes over chalice. This guy is like a blue, half blue, half red. Really nice as well. And another uh, purple watermelon chalice back here. So that's my little chalice garden. These guys look awesome under the blues. I'm gonna try to shoot a video at nighttime of all my um, my LPS and stuff when they have all their tentacles out looks pretty awesome down here we have um, a grafted money cap it's grown a lot too initially when I first got them uh, the center part here it was just all glue and we can see here that in this case the green is going to be the most aggressive one because it's already grown it's the one that actually took off and grew over the um, over the glue so let's see how uh, this one does. Can't wait to see it start grafting. Take you guys down here to my fungi plate garden. So far we have two, I'm probably gonna get one more. The one back there is the Medusa. The green Medusa. Orange slice fungi. This guy has like uh, blue tips with a pinkish orange rim and mouth. Really nice. It's my little fungi garden there. Right here we have a uh, Aiken garden. You guys here in the front, they're like uh, a teal with orange and red.
we got some rainbows back here that's all kind of different colors in the center by the mouth and then back there we have some grapes these are actually these guys are huge compared to the other uh, two two types of acorns these are purple with uh, with green I'm gonna take you here to uh, Scully Garden probably gonna get one more Scully to complete my garden probably like uh, the UFO Scully or a red one Zoa Garden I'm trying to get it back up right there with these pink ones you know they're those are uh, these survivors since I've had the, the Moorish in the tank the ones back there I got these at the as the Mike Tyson Zoas they have uh, orange green and blue really like those guys these guys right here are huge they're gigantic they're uh, I think they're the Holocaust they have like a uh, pink purple marble center Lunar Eclipse Zoas up there, those are also survivors. I've had those since uh, the Moorish was in the tank. These guys right here are closed up right now. This is a uh, frag plug of Sunny D's. And then these right here are the uh, some Hawaiian pallies. They're like green with a pink orange center and green mouth. Really nice. Now, really got pissed off, guys, on Sundays. They had a special going on in my LFS where you bought two. Two, um, two corals and you got one free. So I got three plugs of uh, Zoas. Got some Rastas. These guys were like some blue with a pink center and I believe these were watermelons. There's probably still one survivor back there. But um, yeah guys, I came in, put the Zoas in the tank uh, Sunday night, Sunday morning when I came in from work. I look at the tank, they were all opened up looking good now however they did have crabs attacking the frag plugs you know how they are when you put in a new frag plug they come in to clean it but um i think the crabs is the only thing i can blame because they were fine in the morning at around 8 a.m went to sleep woke up at 2 p.m and boom all of these guys were like this just melted so i don't know let me know if you guys had any experience with crabs eating your zoas. But um, that's the only thing I can blame. That's the last thing I've seen on the plugs. And um, the zoas were open when I've seen them in the morning. So I was really bummed up. I didn't even have these guys in here for 24 hours. So this side right here, we have the Aiken garden going on, fungi plate garden going on, my Scully garden. Uh, now we also got these guys right here. These are one of my favorite ones in this rock. These are the uh, cloves. And um, they have like a orange green center with the purple body. They look really nice under the blues. And um, they already started to grow onto my rock. As you can see uh, right here, it's already thrown a, a root on top of the rock. And I have a couple of new babies. These guys look really nice. And then another thing I did back here is uh, I got an elegant coral and I put them back here just to kind of give some color to the side of the tank as well this guy has uh, two heads has like purple blue tips with like a teal green body to it Guys, 
uh, enjoy the update. And as always, thank you guys for watching.